Hi there, welcome to Lily Tree. Today we're going to make this wire wrap pendant with a coin bead. So let's get wrapping. For this project we're using 1mm diameter wire, which is 18 gauge, or whatever will fit through your bead, 0.4mm diameter wire, which is 26 gauge, and a flat coin bead, about 25mm or an inch in diameter. And the tools we're using are flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutting pliers, a hammer and block, and a file. So we're starting with three pieces of the 1mm diameter or 18 gauge wire, 8 inches or 20 centimetres long. Now I've got two wires that are 1mm diameter, and this bottom wire is 0.9mm diameter, just so it's a bit easier to get through the bead. So we'll have that one wire going through the bead, and then the other two will be coming down the back. And we could have them running down the centre, but to help stop the bead rotating around, we're just going to put a bit of a curve on them. And I'm just going to use this small jar to help form that curve. So we'll just form the curve around. Make sure we've got enough tail on that wire. And then bend that wire straight up at the top. We can reform that curve if we need to. Just make sure it's in the place we want. And then create a bend at the bottom and straighten the end of the wire out. Now we just need to do the same for the other piece of wire. And we can use the first one we've made as a guide. Check where we need the curve. and where to put in those bends. So these wires will sit kind of like this on the back of the bead. We're just going to help them to keep their shape by hammering them a bit to work hard on them. We just need to hammer that curve And we can use this opportunity to flatten the wire a bit and give it some shape if you want. So that's our wire shaped and we're ready to start making the bale. To start weaving the bale we want those three wires to be in line. And as you can see the centre one is just stepped inwards a bit at the moment. So we'll bend those outer wires over the bead and then just kink them back again so they're in line with that wire coming out of the bead. We'll do the same for the second wire. And then we're ready to start weaving. We'll take a piece of the 0.4mm or 26 gauge wire about a metre or just over three feet long and wind it three times around that centre wire coming out of the bead. We then add our left hand base wire and wrap both of those wires twice. And then take the wire through and wrap that centre wire twice. Then we can add our right hand wire and wrap that in the centre wire twice. And then just the centre wire twice. And we can just make sure all of that's straight by clamping gently over the weave 
with our flat nose pliers. Then we'll continue the weave, wrapping twice over the centre wire and the left hand wire, twice over just the centre wire, and then twice over the centre and right hand wire, then back and over the centre wire just twice. And we want to wrap enough to create the bail once it's folded over. Then we can trim off that starting tail and gently bend over our bail. And we're bending this forwards on the pendant. You can kick out those wires just so they're out of the way. And then continue that bend. I like to bend my bails freehand like this. But you could use bell making pliers or a mandrel to help make the shape if you prefer. Now I can anchor those two sides together by taking our weaving wire back under one of those outside wires and then around just the centre wire just where it meets the bead and then bring that wire forward again and secure it with another wrap on the centre wire. Just make sure all of that's tight together. Now that's our bail created and we're now ready to weave the frame. Before we continue that weaving at the top, I'd like to get those bottom three wires secured together. So we can take another metre length of the 0.4 26 gauge wire, secure it on the middle frame wire by wrapping three times as we did before, and then create the same weave as at the top. And I'll just move those top wires out of the way. And sorry, my camera cut out there, but I've just woven down a few wraps, so I've got two double wraps on the right hand side and one on the left. Now that's just holding those wires in place now, so we can go back and focus on the top wires. We want to bend two of the wires over to the right. We'll leave that left hand most wire for now. Then we'll continue the weave by wrapping those two wires twice. Then we're going to switch over and wrap the outer wire six times. Then wrap both wires twice again and continue this weave along. We can bend those wires around so they're following the shape of the bead as we go. And then once we've got about a third of the way around the circle, we can bend that third wire over and around to meet the weave on the outside. We just want to make that a nice, smooth, pleasing curve. And then we'll continue the weave that we had before, wrapping those outer two wires twice, wrapping just the middle wire twice, the inner two wires twice, and then the middle two wires twice again and we'll just continue that weave a little way further. Now I want the wires to end about two thirds around the circle, but I'll finish the weave a little bit before that so I can sort out the ends. Then we can move back to the bottom wires. And we want to bend each of them forwards. And then we want to take those left two wires and mirror the top. So I'll just move that other wire out of the way for now. And I'm going to weave around that bend that we've just made. So we'll wrap both of those wires twice. 
and then just the outer wire six times. And then we can bend those wires out. And then continue that 6-2 weave just as we did at the top. Once we've got about a third of the way around the circle, we'll bend that third wire over to meet them. Just check that it mirrors that top wire quite nicely. And then continue that weave as before with two wraps on the outside two wires, two wraps on the centre wire, two wraps on the inside two wires, and two wraps on the centre wire. Now we're ready to start thinking about the ends and I'm going to curve that inner wire around to a small loop on the front of the bead. So we can just start that by hand and then adjust it with the pliers to where we want it. We'll do the same with the other side. And we can check they look about even and trim the ends. Now for the middle wire of the three, we're going to take that around the back, but we're not going to worry about that just now. And then that outer wire, just want to curve round and then trim. And I'm just going to trim these to end about where that loop is. Now we're going to hammer these ends. So to get access for that, we just need to pull that weave out a bit. Make sure the weaving wire is out of the way and then carefully hammer that outside wire. This is partly for design purposes, but it also helps to stop that weaving wire slip down. I hammer the other side the same. Then once we've got good access, we can file the ends of that wire to make sure there's no burrs that will catch. Then we just need to move the wires to make sure we've got access to that inside loop and hammer that loop. And this is where a small riveting hammer like this really does help. We'll check there's nothing that will catch on those loops. And then we can carefully bend that weave back into position. Now we just need to deal with those middle wires. So we'll bend them around to the back and just continue wrapping that weaving wire around the frame wire to create a little coil. Then we can create a small loop on the end just so it's sitting outside the frame wire at the back and just continue that coil up to where those two wires meet. Then thread the weaving wire underneath that back base wire. And wrap over that back base wire and the loop twice. This will secure that loop to the back frame. 
Then we can wrap around the loop a few more times. Trim off that weaving wire. Trim off that frame wire. And then just make sure the end of the loop's where we want it. We can also trim off that starting wire at the bottom and then do exactly the same with the remaining frame wire on the other side. Create that loop. Attach it to the frame wire. And this time I've just trimmed that loop before finishing off those few wraps. Then once we've trimmed the weaving wire and just got that loop in place, we can check the design and I think I'll just adjust those outside wires inwards a little bit. And you might want to leave it bright copper like this or patina it with liver of sulphur and our pendant is finished. If you enjoyed the video, why not head to this playlist for more wire app pendants. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.